Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and I am doing another part of my craft wearable, all kinds of lots of jewelry. I've got big bags of all wearable jewelry to show you, and big bags of craftable jewelry to show you. Also, all wearable jewelry lots cups that I sell. I sell these on eBay for $39.99 and they're packed with pretty good jewelry. I've always got those for sale so if you ever need one just let me know. Um, there's loads of pieces in there and if you break it down it's probably pretty cheap per piece. So I've got an all wearable jar but this time I'm going to show you what's in this one just because I happen to be building it right now. So we're going to do some craft jars with some people's names on them. And if you're new to my channel, I take names in the comment section and I put those names on certain craft cups or jar, uh, excuse me, bags of jewelry. And it's just fun because people get to see their loved ones' names on certain things on the videos. And I really enjoy doing that as well. So if you have some names you'd like me to use, just leave them in the comments, okay? If you see anything you like, just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the video name and the episode number. That's going to be important. You're not going to need any timestamps today. You're just going to need the name of the bag or the name of the cup, a brief description, and the price that was given, okay? So thank you very much for that information. I do answer my emails in the order that you send them. So if you're watching the video, you see something you like, don't hesitate to send the email right off to me. You don't have to save up all the things you like until the last minute. You can email me right away. I don't mind getting five, six, or even 10 emails during a video, it's okay. Also, if you haven't subscribed, I really hope you will. I've been on YouTube for one year now I happened to put up a video one day and never expected it to go anywhere, but people started watching and sometimes they were really mean in the beginning, but I stuck with it and there were a lot more people that were very kind to me. So I'm still here today, a year later, and I do hope you'll subscribe and hit the like button because as you do, that supports the channel and it helps my videos to circulate around a little bit more. So. Thank you very much for all you do. I really appreciate every single time you watch a video, every time you take a minute to comment on it. I can't tell you how much it means to me because it really does support the channel. Really, really does, so thank you very much. I haven't been talking about my rings lately, but if you'd like to know, this is a Larimar ring. It's in 950 Sterling. And I love this stone. I think the ring is beautiful. I love how high up it's set. This is a Labradorite. And I bought that on eBay. They said it was sterling and it's not. But I kept it anyway because the stone is so fabulous. And it's not doing too bad. This is a vintage Bow Jewels. B-E-A-U. Bow Jewels. I love this piece. I can adjust it. It's called a bypass ring where it bypasses itself and you can adjust it. So I love wearing that. This I've had for many, many, many years. I bought this at my Barnstable local fair, oh, a long time ago. And then I saw a necklace and a bracelet on eBay for thousands of dollars. And they called this Petty Point. And I'm like, oh, I have one of those. I'm pretty sure that's Spiny Oyster, Turquoise, I uh, can't remember what the purple is called and the yellow, but it's beautiful. I liked it the minute I saw it. It is marked sterling inside. It's not for sale. I'm just showing you and maybe educating you a little bit about this. Yes, it's marked sterling. And if anyone knows what that little leaf means as far as who the designer is, do let me know right there. I would love to know who that maker is. Okay, and there's the word sterling. So I love this ring. I may be willing to get rid of it soon, I'm not sure, but it's really pretty. And then another Larimar piece. I do have several Larimar rings to sell, 
So let me know if you're interested and I will email you. And then this piece that I found in one of my unboxings, it's full of marcasites, it's art deco, it is so fun. And I love wearing this. There are some marcasites missing, but like I always say, I do not care. It's quite beautiful. Then for my bracelets, Larimar bracelet. I have never been able to find another Larimar bracelet. So I feel really blessed to have found this one. And then this beadball bracelet, I think my friend Anne gave this to me. I bought this. Um, I always said I'd never get a Pandora bracelet, but I did buy this one because I want anything that my children give me, I'm gonna wear on this bracelet. So I just had a birthday, so watch in future videos, see if you see any more um, charms popping up because I have a feeling I might get some for my birthday from them. I did buy this Bible charm, but that's the only one I'm putting on. Any others are gonna be from my kids. Okay, I don't wanna go on too much. This is, uh, I don't know what country it's from. It's 800 silver. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it's probably my favorite. Over here, this is the first beadball bracelet I ever got from my unboxing, Sterling Silver, and I felt like this was this big when I got it. I was so excited I found Sterling Silver beadball bracelet, so I'll never get rid of this because it gives me great memories. This piece I found a couple of months ago in a lot that I bought. It says, believe God, and he was right. He's trying to tell me to believe in him on a place to live because he certainly did bless me. This one I've had for a while too, found it in an unboxing. It has genuine pearls and little black pearls. And I just can't say enough about how sweet that one is. And then from this beadball bracelet, I bought another bigger one and another bigger one. And I used to wear them all together, but now I just wear this one. And this is so stunning. It ends up looking like pearls on the arm. I do have some of these for sale too that I could probably bring on. So just let me know. So I'm blinging out a little bit for my channel and I hope you like that. Okay, I'm sorry if I took up time that you didn't want to take up time with, but those of you that did, I'm glad that you're here. All right, let's dump out what's in the all wearable jar. Again, I do sell these on eBay. They usually have a lot more chains and things in them. But this one I'm kind of building, and I'm not sure what else I'm going to put in it. But anyway, this chart is named Maud, and I put that name for Raleen. So Raleen, here's the name Maud for you on this all-wearable jar. Now anyone can buy the jar. It's just one of those fun things that we do. So in the jar goes this enamel bracelet and this black bracelet. I try to put those in first. And then this really pretty rhinestone pink and orange clamper. It's an excellent shape and it's a beauty. That goes in. I have this vintage purple necklace. It's probably a Monet. It has, says patent pending and it's got purple and gold beads graduating to larger in the front. It does feel like that older, heavier, more heavy acrylic. Let me see if it's signed Monet. Patent pending. I don't see Monet, but they do use that class quite a bit. But anyway, this beautiful vintage purple beauty is going in there. Then I have this beautiful frosty glass necklace. This is really pretty. It has soft golden beads in between. It's a nice long piece. It's got this brassy um, clasp on it. Usually don't put pieces this big in the jars, but I thought it was too pretty to pass up. So that's going in. And then I'm putting in these multi-metal earrings. Aren't those cute? They have gold in the middle and silver on the outside. And a pair of faux pearl and gold tone studs, a pair of faux pearl and silver tone earrings, really cute. Then I have this pair of clip-on earrings with a wing on them, and a lovely pair of swirly silver tone metal. They are pierced, get the earrings in there, and 
these are really cool. They have a beautiful turquoise color. Almost looks like um, a stone on there, but I think they just did a great job with enameling. No, you know what? It's a bezel set piece of probably, hmm, can't think of that stone, but that's pretty nice soft gold on that. And here's the other one. Then I have these lovely little red vintage enamel earrings, nice color. And look how cute these are. Is that a cowboy boot? So adorable. They are screw back earrings and that's the other boot. I thought those were so cute. So they're going in. And another pair of vintage earrings, screw back, gold tone with the little dangly, oops, oval shape. And another pair of screw backs with some silver sparkles. And this pair of stud leaf earrings full of rhinestones. There's some earrings. Then I have this bracelet, very encrusted pave piece. It's kind of warbly, it's supposed to be that way. Interesting, great shape. Then I have this necklace on velvet and it's got all these acrylic hearts and silver hearts. Really pretty piece, love that one. We have a vintage charm bracelet. I'm not sure who that charm is from, but it's a nice thick heavy one. And a faux pearl bracelet. A, this looks like some kind of maybe stone. It feels very cold. And then these in the back feel, I don't know what those would be, but these are very cold. Then a simple yellow bangle. A nice glass beaded bangle. Feels very cold. Then there is this really pretty keychain with rhinestones on it. And I love this vintage ring. It's very simple, really cool. I can't figure out if it's Bakelite. I don't think so, but black Bakelite doesn't test. I don't think it is because there's a seam in there, but it doesn't always mean everything. Anyway, it's going in. It's cute. Then I have this necklace. I don't know who this maker is, but it has this at the top, like a fancy button. And the beads are really cool. Look at that cloisonne bead. Oh, I gotta get my light right here without my lamp falling off the table. Let's see, try to bring this one closer. Yes, look at that bead, isn't that stunning? And then there's a lot of things on here that are cool. Another one of those buttons. It's got like a tassel at the bottom. So let's see, did I show you that one? Yes. Here's another cloisonne bead. Here's another little fancy. And look at the owl. Is he stunning? And he's all the way around. Really pretty. There is a little pearl on here, some shells, a little coin, and another cloisonne. I don't know who made this, but it's quite lovely. And it hangs like that with a little tassel. So that goes in our all wearable jar. Then we have this oldie with the barrel clasp. Gold tone chain looks awesome. And look at the arrowhead, is that beautiful? It has that artistic verdigris blue color on it. I thought that was a cool piece. We have a little star bracelet, a genuine gemstone bracelet. Not sure what the pink and brown is, but nice and cold and is definitely gemstone. I tested that. Then we have this pretty shell bracelet. And we have this Avon necklace. This is a pretty baby. It's on a lobster clasp. It's marked right here. And it's got silver beads, purple, red, and it just looks like one of those old fashioned necklaces that you can wear with anything at any time. Just love that one. So that goes in. And then a memory wire, very colorful bracelet. 
Then we have this glass, I don't want to say carved, but it is a rose. I don't know how they make it that way. And it's nice and soft and frosted. It's on the silky cording, perfect chain, perfect clasp, I mean. So that pretty piece goes in. Then I have this piece. This is a long vintage flapper type necklace. But it has the name uh, Premier Designs. So I think they were trying to do a great job at imitating these because they sure did. It has faceted beads on it. They are acrylic and then the metal ones. And then every now and then you have an AB coated bead, but it's a very, very long piece. So you could wear this, you know, double, triple, whichever you wanted. Lots of layers on that one. So Premier Designs, really pretty. And that one goes in. I have a little ring. It's got some star, purple stars. This, I don't know what he is, but he's cute and in good shape. And that goes on the top. So I'll probably put a few more things. Oh, here's a few more things. This is all glass. This might be some of that mermaid glass that's out now. I do not know. They have a new glass out that's really pretty. Um, it's not reacting to my black light in any way. I always forget to use the black light, but I should more often. But that's a nice ice cold glass bracelet. And then I have this piece. This is a long necklace on, I think, a copper chain. It's a beautiful Rolo chain. Long chain in great shape down to this really lovely leaf. Now there's another class over here. So what I'm thinking is this could be a shorter necklace or it could be doubled, but you can do whatever you like with it. It's a beautiful leaf and I do love that chain. So that's an all wearable jar. Again, I usually have some like gold tone chains, silver tone chains in there. But at this moment, oh, I could put this one in. I'd like to just hold off and put pendants on them, and I haven't had time to do that. And I would like you to have one, so. Let's see if I can get this one off without too much trouble. I do have this. Oh, that's a Premier Designs, too. And it's a silver tone bead ball necklace in great shape. I was going to maybe layer that with a couple other chains, but I'll put that in just so you have one. And then I also have this vintage, very shiny, lovely chain that I can put in there too. That way you can feel like you have some shiny metal as well. Okay, so this is my all wearable called Mod, and these are $39.99. Oh, we forgot to count how many pieces. Oh well, I'll put some bubble wrap on the top. And if you like this jar, do let me know. Um, again, I have lots of them all the time, so you can ask for them anytime you'd like. But that's what's in this jar, okay? So thanks for letting me show you that one. Next, we're gonna move on to all wearable jewelry bag named Zane. And this is named Zane for Deborah. Her grandson's name is Zane. So Deborah, there you go. There's your name, Zane. I hope you're happy that we use the name. I love to use them. And I love it when you guys write in the comments, yay, thanks for using the name. And thank you for sending me the names and being a part of my channel and a part of the fun that we have with that. But again, anyone can buy the bag of jewelry. So this is all wearable, and this is put in bags like this because if I put it in these jars, if I tried to make an all wearable jar, this would take up most of the jar. So I had an idea to do these bags of jewelry on my channel instead. So this is a beautiful uh, soft blue, peachy pink, white and gold beaded braided seed bead necklace. Sorry about that. And the 
top parts look great silver tone chain and it's quite long I'm gonna put that in there great shape nice big necklace and then I have this vintage red necklace I love this I was hoping to make a jewelry bag out of it but I wasn't finding anything to match that red it looks a little orange on my camera but this is as cherry cherry red as you can get it's really very cherry so there you go with that one it has silver bead balls in between beautiful color then I have this piece this is very flapper length too it looks like sort of ambery colors I don't know if that's a shape of a shell or what it is but I will tell you when you get the beads all together they look beautiful because they're in all kinds of different orange colors so it's a very long piece over the head piece probably 60 inches I'd say so there's that piece then I have this other meant to look older necklace this is faceted glass on a darker chain I love how they finished it there and it's graduated beautiful silver tone or gunmetal and lovely glass on that necklace then we have this really pretty blue clamper again I couldn't find anything to match it with on my matching jewelry sets so I'm passing it off to you guys and that's a pretty one this is one of those I think a wicker or bamboo I guess it's bamboo and it's a bracelet and we have this really fun blue stretchy bracelet it's a nice teal color great stretch on it and the same with this orange one great color great stretch just a lot of fun and this pretty red bracelet and it is acrylic then we have this faceted acrylic beaded necklace and this really pretty blue color with the silver tone lobster clasp this does look a little bit older it's in great shape and it might match that bracelet I think it really does I think this bag is good because a lot of these things you could wear together then I have this set this is a necklace acrylic beaded necklace with these cute little seed beads in between and look how it gets to the front isn't that so cute and then it has these two matching bracelets so I'll add those two with it and there you go so this is all wearable bag named Zane you've got seed bead you've got lots of fun bracelets lots of great colors going on in there and I'm gonna say for all those pieces we'll do just 20 on this bag so if you like bag Zane all wearable it's $20 just let me know the name and the price thank you for that Oops, I gotta keep this stuff in order because I just did another video and I don't want to mix up the videos okay another all wearable jewelry bag this one's going to be named Leon and I named it Leon for Raylene so Raylene here's your Leon name I hope you're watching and again anyone can buy the bag we're just having fun with the names all wearable jewelry Leon now this bag I have this I think it's a belt it has this older belt buckle part to it it's got this beautiful gold tone I don't know disc parts to it it's very pretty I'm gonna say it's a belt it's quite gorgeous so I'm gonna put that in there it looks older doesn't it I mean even the strap looks older but the conditions awesome so if you find out what this is let me know I'd love to know the maker and if you hear that wind whipping I'm recording this on Saturday what is today March 23 and most of you are probably having 
real big storms today because I think they are pretty much all over the U.S. Okay, this piece, I know sometimes people have like this storm playing in the background, but that's not playing, that's a real storm. This is a gorgeous piece. This is from Premier Designs. And it comes down like this with these lovely chains. Then it comes into these box chains. Some more like netted pieces. Look at that one, isn't that pretty? Nice long piece in beautiful condition. Premier Designs and the all wearable. This bracelet's very interesting. It definitely looks older. It's got some wooden beads and some shells, pink, turquoise, really detailed on some of these beads. So I thought that was really pretty. Would go with a lot of things. And then one of these, there's always lots of these around. I'm sure they mean something. The colors are beautiful. So that goes in. Then I have this giant pair of earrings. They are yellow rhinestones, brand new. And I thought those were fun, so in they go. Nice orange bangle. These nice big earrings. Really pretty color. These are a pretty good weight. And this is the back of them. And they are just cool. So that's those. Another cute bracelet. This is coming out like a, oh, kind of a funny pink on my camera, but it's like a really fuchsia kind of pink in life, in real life over here. So that's that one, and the stretch is great. This is a really old piece. Look at the hook on it. I thought for sure I'd see Austria or something in there. This is a super old necklace with faceted beads. It's not glass. It looks every bit glass, but it is made, I think, of acrylic or maybe an older, certainly an older plastic because that's an oldie. So that goes in. Then we have this. I don't know if this is a bracelet. This might be a napkin holder. I'll show you. You have to push it in to get it to come undone. So it seems like a bracelet, but I'm not sure. I don't think you'd have to go through that for a napkin ring, but it's just a little on the small side, but awfully pretty. Then we have this clamper. Look how beautiful this is. I'm not sure who made this, and it does need a little cleaning, but I just don't have time for everything. Kind of some of the discount you get on these bags and lots is that I don't have to take extreme detail even though I always do keep things clean. So look at this, just layers and layers of gemstones, orange and teal and aquamarine, a big stone in the middle and another one on the top. And it's a gold tone clamper, pretty cool shape. Has a little scratchy, but you can probably buff that out. That goes in, and just a beautiful wooden bracelet. Who can not have one of these in their wardrobe? Last, I don't know what to do with this, so maybe it should go into craft, but it has police, first responder, fire, EMT, army, marines, navy, everyone on there. It looks like they started to put others on the inside. So I think I'm gonna leave this on the side. If someone wants it, just email me. If you're already buying something, I'll send this to you for free but you've got to already be buying something because it's just too much trouble to do the shipping. Unless you want to pay the $5 shipping, you're welcome to this piece. Just let me know that you want that bracelet, okay? So this is big, all wearable bag named Leon with the Premier Designs and the bracelets and the lovely one there. And on this one, I'll say $16. Oops. One, six. So if you like Leon, let me do it down here again. It's hard to write on top of your hand. Just let me know you like Leon for $16. And I'll get that off to you, okay? So there 
there's that one. And I will insert really quick for those who are just joining or just tuning in. Gotta turn off this prissy. If you see anything you like, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the, the video name and episode number, a brief description, the bag name, not number, but the name of the bag or the name of the cup, and the price. You're not going to need any time stamps today, just the names of things, okay? So thank you very, very much for that. Appreciate your attention with that one. Okay, what should we do next? A craft jar, a cup, how about a craft bag? So again, these items are too big to go in the jars. They'll fill them up if I do. This is big craft bag named Jetters. And I think Jetters is another one of Sandra's puppies. So I hope you're watching, Sandra. And I'm, I love you to pieces. And I'm glad to name something for you. So this jewelry is all craft. So remember, there'll be a little something wrong with the pieces. And they're things that you can still wear if you'd like to, or use for other jewelry making. First we have this big yummy cuff bracelet. Just needs this chain to be glued down again. It's full of rhinestones around the edges, and that piece goes in. Then we have this gorgeous, the chain's in great shape, but the, the, um, the clasp is a little colored. And it has these honey-colored glass pieces on it and the clear pieces. And this is the back. They are foil on the back. So I'll show you a little bit about foil on the back of stones. See how this one has a little bit of that foil? So this side is glass. The whole piece is glass. But on this side, they cover it with a little foily type paint so that when you flip it over, it reflects a lot more light. So that's what a foil back stone is called. When that foil gets worn off a little, like this one has, then you'll start to see a little bit through the stone. Not so sparkly as before. But these are great because you can pop them off and you can take the rest of the foil off and just use them as glass. But that's what foil back is. Just thought I'd let you know. This is a memory wire piece, a little rhinestone missing. I'm thinking you can take, yeah, you can take these apart and use that for however. This next piece is just so pretty. It's on seed beads, great clasp, lovely faceted beads in between, some very coppery color faux pearls, and it comes down to this pendant right here. I just wasn't sure if the pendant was supposed to be crackly. Maybe it is, and maybe the piece is perfect, but I wasn't sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I'll put this piece in the bag. Then we have, <clears throat> oh my, this I'm almost sure is a Bakelite piece that's been cracked. <clears throat> I don't know if you can glue it and maybe polish it up just really smells Bakelite. It looks it. So that'd be fun if you can fix that up. I can't promise it's Bakelite, but everything tells me it is. This is a really pretty necklace, but the gold beads in between are kind of wearing off a little. So there's your classic black and gold ball beaded necklace with a little wear. And then another nice, beautiful rhinestone with a couple missing. Remember, this is craft bag. Now this necklace is a stunner. Look at this green color, the green seed beads, the color they dyed this shell. It's just fabulous. But a couple of the shells have a little bit of wear. See that right there? Just a little bit of wear, but it's beautiful. I'll show you this side. That was an earring, because the earrings come with it. It's so pretty, I wish I could have used it. But, see that little bit of wear? Really, I think, just on those top two pieces. Otherwise, the clasp is great, the necklace is great, and it does have a matching pair of earrings. 
And then this earring has a little teeny chip in it. It's jumped right out of my hand. So maybe you can touch that up with a little bit of paint and wear this because it's a beautiful set. In craft bag jetter as it goes. This is a really interesting piece as well. I'm guessing it's made of wood with some kind of covering. It's got a little chip there. A little piece of something there. And this is a great chain. I almost took the pendant off of the chain to use it, but it has, I don't know, a little, could be buffed out, not sure. Then it's got this pendant on the bottom, which may be able to be buffed up too, don't know. That is a great chain. So I'll put that in there and see what you can do with that. This necklace is on a toggle clasp lovely dark colors with some coppers and some gold just a really pretty look and some kind of a shell on the bottom painted very pretty and then it's got seed beads here i just i don't know i just think it maybe it's lightweight i don't know what my problem was maybe nothing but it's a pretty piece and in that goes this is a solid copper bracelet. It needs a little cleaning. So if you like copper and brass, which is nice jewelry, just give that a little cleaning and you'll be all set. So this is big crafting jetters. We've got the gorgeous shell set in there. Some vintage necklaces and lots of bits and pieces I hope you can use. So let's see. We will say for jetters, We'll do $15. So if you like that craft bag, you see lots of things in there you could use, let me know. Jetters for $15. Time for the spin. Spin, spin. Okay. Next, I have... Oh, wow. I have another wearable bag. Not sure how much time we're into. I'm going to do this big wearable bag, but I didn't give it a name. Hmm. Okay. All right. We usually name the big bags man's names, but this time, this one's going to get a girl's name because that's what I have ready. So this big wearable bag of jewelry is going to be named Marie, and that is for Cindy. So Cindy... Here is your name, Marie, that you asked me to use, and we are going to put it on this big wearable bag of jewelry, okay? So here we go, and now I can explain about these pieces. On my last video, I said I would tell you a little bit more about that. So we've got this really cool animal print. Maybe it's burnished in there. It's a wooden bracelet nice looking this may be an indian bracelet clamper it's in good shape beautiful stones lots of pretty little gold silver ball beads there in between with a mesh underneath just a lovely piece that goes in then we have this fabric necklace or like silk beaded Oh, this has a little something. I didn't realize that, so maybe that's going to go to craft instead. All right, we'll put that to craft, because this is a wearable bag, so we want the pieces to be wearable. This is a really long flapper style pink beaded necklace, and I always think there's value in these really long pieces, because you can wrap them around and do so many things with them. So there you go, it's a bubblegum pink, probably 60 inches at least. Next I have this piece that we got out of Rich Box Poor Box. And I asked everyone if they thought these were Mardi Gras beads, and then they said some of them are very collectible. So I did look these up, and this is called Something Iris. And it is collectible, and it is sold on eBay and different platforms. 
So I thought I would put it in here and see what you'd like to do with it. And it is a nice looking piece, I do admit. It's got white beads in between the pretty purples, but it's called Iris something, very collectible. Then there's this brass and blue gemstone or glass, I'm sorry, beaded bracelet. It's a really pretty blue. And then we have this Tracy Lynn necklace that is such a stunner. And I just went on eBay to see what these go for, and they still go for a pretty good amount. Let me just get it right so it hangs nicely. But Tracy Lynn is a very big designer name, and she makes a lot of statement necklaces. And this one, look at that. Look how it would hang. It would hang down the whole front of you and just look beautiful. And it, would, and it starts way up here, so it's quite stunning the way it would just, oh yes, really pretty. So that's that necklace. It takes up almost the whole bag. I'll carefully get it back in there. Look at the amount of beads on this. Just nicely made. And so that goes in. If you do wear this and you aren't too shy, send me a picture. I'd love to see that on someone. I just think it would be so stunning. So big wearable bag, Marie. You've got your Mardi Gras piece, your Indian bracelet, your Tracy Lynn, and all wearable, I'll say just $12 on this bag. So if you love Marie, all wearable 12. Just send me an email to Cape Cod eBay Girl. Next is, we might as well keep going with the craft bags. Craft bag named Shane, and I've named this bag for Ray, Ray, Raylene. Sorry, for Raylene. I was going to say Ray Ella, and then I said Raylene. There you go with the craft bag. Remember, craft bags need a little work on them. I call them the jewelry hospitals, where these beautiful pieces that served us so well go to their doctors and nurses to get a little help. So I hope you think that's fun. This bracelet I liked. It matched so good with something yesterday in my Friday night jewelry bags. But then I noticed that these beads, I think some of the gold is worn off. Either that or it's supposed to be like that. Don't know, but I just didn't want to take a chance. But look at how pretty that is. Great colors, it goes in. This is a craft bag, remember, so. And then here's some shells you can use for lots of things, decorating or wearing. This is beautiful, ice cold crystals. It's a stretch bracelet, I just you know, it's not coming back like I want it to. So I'm really mad about this piece, but I'm not mad for you because those are beautiful beads. I'm sure you can make, can you imagine how many earrings you can make out of that? Beautiful shimmery purples. So I hope you're loving that piece. Then I have this bracelet. I'm equally as mad <laughs> because it's gorgeous. But again, the stretch makes me a little nervous but it has these beautiful green colored shells and lots of little rings and things that you could use. So I hope you're liking that piece. This necklace, again, I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like this, but this is marked on, um, let's see, I'm put the loopy. It's a Chico's, Chico's necklace. And it's on this nice heavy snake chain excellent condition comes down like this and this is the pendant the pendant looks worn but i think maybe it's supposed to look like that i just didn't want to take the chance like why would the chain be so perfect and the pendant not so it could be that it's a perfect necklace i just couldn't be sure so here you go with the chicos this piece has lots of really nice cording that is in fantastic shape. It's a little bit, it's a little bit kind of 
tangled. Let me see here. How did you get over there? Oh, I don't know. It's going in the craft bag, so I don't have to worry too much. It has a lovely silver tone clasp, but the cording is a nice silvery, nice fresh new material. For some reason, the pendant just needs a little help, maybe a little cleaning up, polishing, or you can use the parts. There goes that piece. Then we have, wow, that wind is whipping. Wow. Wow. We have this wooden beaded bracelet. Looks like a tassel. It looks like this is kind of coming undone. So that goes in. Wow, the wind is whipping. Another uh, pendant. This necklace, what is going on here? Oh, it's one of those, is it? Okay, I don't know, but the chain is in great, great shape. And then you have these acrylic beads, pretty nice looking. I just don't know what's going on with all this extra string. So that's gonna go in the craft bag. Nice acrylic on there, like that older, heavier stuff. Then we have this piece that's a little tangled into this piece, that's a little tangled into that piece. All right, let me see here. Not too bad though so far. This looks like one of those head pieces. I just thought that those copper beads were kind of useful. And maybe these end clamps, I don't know. You guys know better than I do in the craft bag and then there is the silver tone piece look at that couple of rhinestones missing silver tone chain it's a heavy bulky piece and then there's this cute little i guess a paper clip type chain but it does have a little bit of wear so that's going to go in too so there's your craft bag chain it may have a perfectly good Chico's in there. Lots of beads and findings. I hope you find that really useful. I'm just so glad to not put this in the landfill and be able to send it off to you guys to be able to use it and, and keep things going. So for bag, craft bag named Shane, those lovely crystals in there. I'm gonna say 17 on this one. So you let me know if you love craft bag chain. Whoops, I forgot something. There is a leather piece with a letter A on it. Is it a mood thing? I think it's a mood thing. Oh, that's funny. So there is one more piece of leather with a moody, a moody A on it. That's your bag of craft called Shane for $17. Okay, we are moving right along. I've got, look at how much I have to show you. My, 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 what am I going to do here? Maybe make up a bag with you. This is a really long piece. It has a cross on it. Not sure what to make of it, but maybe some type of, I don't know, it's copper color. It's in excellent condition otherwise, but it's broken right here. Not sure how you could reconnect that, but look at all the rhinestones and the cross and the copper color. I have to kind of do this just to get it to fit in something because it's so substantial. So, wow, I don't know what to do with this piece, except to put it back in the bag and maybe say $5 on this? I don't know, what do you think? And then if I do that, then you'll need to give me a timestamp. I think I'm gonna see if all those crystals and all those pieces are worth five to someone. So let's say five on that one, and you'll just give me a time stamp, okay? What else? We have that piece that has a bunch of gemstones in it. We have this carved piece. 
We have this chain. This is beautiful. It just needs, I wish I had a minute to just put a different clasp on it because look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's a double chain. Just needs that new clasp on it. This one has a little perfume smell. You may remember from Rich Box, Poor Box. It's all gemstones, tiger's eye, and those are gemstones around there on a copper piece. I think I'm just going to end up making a bag here because that would be more practical. Then again, we have this really pretty gold chain. Just needs a new clasp. So, let's see. Maybe we can make craft jar Bessie. Bessie is for Megan. Megan, this is the name you wanted me to use, Bessie. I hope you're watching, and I'm happy to use the name. But again, anyone can buy the jar. So let's put this nice gold chain in craft jar Bessie. Let's put this card piece in there, too. Let's put... That might be a little too big. What else have I got in here? This is kind of cool. It's a bracelet. Not a thing wrong with it. I don't know if someone used a special cork or that's just how it looks. It's a nice looking piece. And I'll put that in there. You can either wear it or use it for craft. This, nothing wrong with this either. These are gemstones, citrine, and can't remember what this is, but it's ice cold. Probably a quartz. And it's on this purple cording. So I'll put that in there. And then, oh yes, I have some of these cool beads. This is getting fun now. Okay, good. I have these red faceted beads that I can add. There's some pink. And then this is a glass bead here. And these are acrylic and these are glass. So really pretty colors on those. And these beads came off of a very pretty necklace. They're oranges and blacks. But look at how there's two different colors in that acrylic. I thought that was neat. So we can put all those in there. That one, hmm. Probably too big. Ooh, what's in here? Some more things I've been saving. Yes. Okay, we've got this earring. Acrylic earring. I'm sorry, enamel. This um, lucite earring with lovely crystals. This is a little bunch of crystals in black. A hoop earring. Look at the pea pods. Nice little dangly earring. Then we've got a lovely clip-on. These are probably all singles. Look at that stunner. Oh, beautiful, but just one. And there's another earring. Some lovely vintage earrings. This is two earrings. It's a shell and a white earring, so. This is cute. I have these in stud earrings and they're adorable. Probably just one. And then a couple of more danglies. This is, I don't know, little useful parts, I think. This is probably stone. Definitely, I can feel how cold it is, so blue stone. Then we have this clip on. Oh, gorgeous faceted glass pink prong set really pretty I think it's got a name on it too it's an Avon so hey if you ever wanted another earring here you go this is an earring with some pink crystal another hoopy style looks like we have a ring that is silver plated. That's what I said on that one. Then we have a butterfly earring. Sorry about that. 
This is pretty. Um, silver tone. This is a pendant. Can't see all that right now, but you'll be able to see it. And this is an extender. I know that for sure. Probably for an Avon bracelet. Yes. So if you have any bracelet that needs an extender, you know, one of the fold over clasps, there you go. So there's that piece. And what else can I fit in this jar? This is a nice necklace. Nothing wrong with this. It is on a cord, has some turquoise colors. I hope I'm in the camera because it gets kind of hard to tell. Wow, that wind. Oh my goodness, that wind. This is in a bag because maybe it's all tangled. Lots of chains, rhinestones, different things. Pretty little rhinestones in there. But it is all tangled. And I just don't have the time on this one. But it looked to me like a lot of useful parts. Or if you want to take the time to untangle, there you go with that piece. We have some paper beads. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. This is nice. It's a silver tone or rose gold tone chain. Put it like that so it doesn't tangle. Then we have this Alex and Ani piece. What's going to fit in there? I have lots of stuff that can fit. Okay, this it is probably a craft jar. Oh, yes. Bracelet, faux pearl, missing. Probably a rhinestone somewhere here or there. I'm going to move this pendant because I feel like we're not getting as much down in there as we can. There we go. Put these chains down in there. Make sure we pack this really good. Put that on top. This is a sterling silver chain. It is broken. But you have some sterling you can use for earrings or whatever you need. So a sterling silver chain. Then I thought this was really pretty. It is older. I don't know what it's made of. Look how old that is. I love the brass findings. I hope you do too. Then we have some of this type of chain. And this is a one-off earring with shells. This is a bracelet that I restrung, so it is on a good stretch. But then I noticed like that little chip right there. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to be, probably not. But look how pretty the glass is and the beads. So hopefully you can use those. And then I found this. This was so interesting to me. I don't know who that maker would be. You see that little something? And this old brass, not too old because it's a big lobster clasp. But then it comes down to these little frosty pieces of glass. Very interesting. I did see something about poured glass. Don't know if these are, but they look like it. I just don't know what someone was doing with that, but the glass is really cool. Let's add this lovely piece because it's got such pretty glass on it, and I think you can use it. It's a necklace that probably broke with beautiful yellow glass pieces. Is that supposed to spin? Yeah, they're supposed to spin. So that goes into our craft Bessie. What else can we fit? How about this necklace with all these AB crystals? Oh, we're going to throw this one in too. So AB crystals. This is a icing necklace. It could be cleaned up and worn, but it does have some nice rhinestones on there that might be useful. It's getting heavy. 
nice pretty crystals there and a cute earring with some nice glass and how about one of these magnetic bracelets um, I can never think of what that magnetic stone is I want to say hematite but I think there's another stone that's more magnetic so and another earring some orange seed beads and I think that's it we're stuffed we are stuffed how about this this is a rhinestone tie necklace there is nothing wrong with it at all no nothing missing but when you get to the top it's a little worn so if you wanted to change the chain you got a great necklace to wear so hopefully I can get that in there without I don't want to hurt that necklace I'm going to have to take some out, put it down in there, and I'll do that before I wrap it because I don't want to put the pressure on that and have you have a broken piece. I think that's all we can fit in this jar. It is stuffed. And for Craft Bessie, we will say 25. So if you love what went into Bessie, just let me know you want Bessie for 25. And as always, bubble wrap over the top and it'll be shipped safely to you. By the way, these look like glass, but they are plastic. They're nice, crystally clear glasses. So are these. I, these are hard to find. I have to buy like cases of them when I do find them. And I find them at Job Lot. Um, they're plastic, but they look like glass and they make the best jewelry jars. They hold tons of stuff. So that's what I use for those. So. There you go with that one. Okay, I decided to push through. I've got two bags left, so let's get them done. Big craft bag, Esmeralda. And this is named for Adriana. So there you go, Adriana. There's the name that you shared with me. Thank you so much for that. So let's see what I'm gonna put in this craft jar. I'm going to add these fabric beads, beautiful colors. There is really good gold tone on the beads in between. Then I'm going to add this piece. This has some spinel, some real tested spinel. It's an Indian piece of jewelry. I think these larger pieces are testing that. Um, either that or their crystal. It does have a little bit of perfume smell, so maybe you can just use the gemstones. But that's going to go in this bag. And there's some more gemstones, because this is full of tiger's eye and gemstones all around this pendant. And who is the maker on this one? Nope, nothing on there. So more gemstones in there. Then we have this funky bracelet. Thought I would put that in there, nothing wrong with it, but... And this is a really pretty choker with all kinds of beautiful stuff on it. Really nice. It does have like a thread here or there that needs to be snipped. And some useful parts. This is that necklace we were talking about in the beginning of the video. Just needs a nice clasp and you've got a really nice vintage two-tier necklace. This is a bracelet. It has like a pewter look to it. Um, just need some help on the stretch. A paper beaded necklace. Very colorful. This is a headband. The chain part of it is great. And this is some kind of little copper piece with a little piece of turquoise. Not sure if that's like the tag, but it's a really nice piece of um, suede that you could use. And this is pretty. Probably Premier Designs. Look at this necklace. Isn't that cool? They have the coolest stuff. I think they do um, silver plating because their stuff looks sterling all the time. It's got a bunch of rhinestones all through. I think it's still very wearable, but I'm going to put it in craft because that's going to be up to you. Okay, so Premier Designs, and then what have we here? Oh, I remember this. So this is a faux pearl necklace that had all kinds of chains, and it was a mess of a tangle. So what you've got here, 
is a lot of faux pearls in really great shape. And the chains are in very, very good shape too. It just all came apart, so there you go. Lots of silver chains and faux pearls in this craft bag. And I would assume that's more of the same. Yes, it is more of the same. I just found them after I had already finished unboxing. So in go those as well. There you go, big craft Esmeralda. You do have some gemstones in there and some other pieces. I'm trying to remember everything that went in it. And for this bag, I'll say 17, okay? So if you like that one, you want to utilize those stones from that Indian necklace and the other ones. Just let me know big craft name Esmeralda for 17. I would have stopped the video by now, but I've got one bag left, so let's go, let's go, go, go. This is big craft bag named Clayton, and Clayton's name is used for Sheila. So here you go, Sheila, another name for you. I always have to mention, anyone can buy the bag. Okay, we have these bracelets. I love these colors but they are having a little wear on the edges. Not sure if you can repurpose them, but that'll be up to you guys. And there they go. This is a nice bracelet. Mirror, mirror st stones on it. Nothing wrong with it, but probably needs some polishing. A little pink metal enamel. This is a I don't know if it's an Alex and Ani style. It says mom on there. Sorry that I'm not getting in the camera. This is like a moon glow bracelet. I love this one, but it just has a little bit of scratchy on it. Maybe you can get that out. It's a beautiful color. We have this. Look at this owl. I really want to put him on another chain because he's just too beautiful. He's on like a copper chain. It's like a brass and copper worn out, I think. Or maybe it's supposed to be, because if you look at him, he's brass and copper. But I don't think it's supposed to be this way at the top. That's where it gets a little darker. So just thought I'd put him in. He's so cute. A couple of bangles with a little wear. Then we've got this piece with some glass pieces in the middle. Another wooden necklace. I think I got like four of these. Maybe you can use some of these pieces. Then this is sort of a mauve purple bracelet. And then we have this piece, which is gorgeous. Clip on earring, too bad I only have one. This is a nice heavy chain. Really good shape, it just needs a clasp got a couple of bracelets, really pretty pink stones on there. Nothing wrong with this one at all. This is cool. It's, um, I think it's on brass, and then they cut away the enamel to make that design. This necklace is so beautiful. Oh, I was so excited to use it in my color jewelry bags, but something happened to this. What was it? Oh, I think it had something on one of these beads here, right here. Had something on the beads and I tried to clean it off. You can barely see it. I mean, if you weren't like that, you would never see it. It's so beautiful. It's heavy, it feels like glass. And look at that pendant, isn't that beautiful? It's a very long necklace. It's gorgeous, the clasp is in great shape. Just has that little issue in the front. So in goes that piece. So there you go with Craft Bag Clayton. And I will say just $10 on this bag. If you like this one, just let me know. Oops, I forgot one. A red bracelet, nice and thick. Needs a little bit of help on the edges. Okay. Bag Clayton for $10. And 
let me know. Now I get to pull some of the jewelry out of the bags again so I can make a thumbnail. Don't forget to let me know if you wanted this piece for nothing, as long as you're making an order. Just let me know and I'll send it to you for free, okay? So that's that. My goodness, that is fun moving that along and passing it along to all of you. Thank you again for joining me for this jewelry jar, craft lots, wearable lots. I appreciate you all so very much. I'd like to know if you would like the video on your way out. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps everything in the channel. Appreciate you so much. I'm going to get the thumbnail together get my work done. And you know what I'm going to say. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye!